The water is clear now, but it wasn't that long ago that Three Fork Creek in Preston and Taylor counties was fouled by acid mine drainage. Coal mining within Three Fork Creek watershed dates back to the mid-1800s and left roughly 9,100 acres of untreated mine pools discharging into its headwater tributaries. This, uh, this watershed's been heavily mined prior to 1977. Uh, there weren't regulations during that time. And as a result of that, we, we still have drainage that comes from those old mines. Mm -hmm. And um, it's pretty acidic, a lot of iron, a lot of aluminum. And most of that occurs upstream of this point. That acid drainage left more than 17 miles of Three Fork Creek essentially dead, lifeless except for a few tolerant insect species, and continued to cause pollution problems downstream as it emptied into the Tigert River and beyond. My acid mine drainage was terrible. This stream has been dead for almost 50, 60 years, back in the 50s. Uh, and uh, at one time, this was one of the best trout streams in West Virginia for this area. In 2004, the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources determined that Three Fork Creek was the second highest contributor of acid mine drainage in the entire Monongalia River Basin. It was clear something had to be done, but what? A lot of the uh, areas we've done some small at source projects to try to remediate the water, but that's uh, such a small area and such a small amount of drainage that we didn't see like an overall impact on the stream. And so we decided to try to improve the whole watershed and improve the fisheries here. And that meant trying something new. This is a lime dosing station one of four installed along the tributaries that form Three Fork Creek by the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection's Office of Abandoned Mine Lands. This station, along Birds Creek, is powered by water from the stream. A measured amount of lime is added, creating an alkaline solution. When added to the stream, it neutralizes the acid. By changing the, P the pH, you also allow metals to drop out and other things that can harm the fish, and so you get improved water farther downstream. The lime dosing stations have been in place for just over a year, and as for their effectiveness... I'm amazed. This is a large stonefly. It's the largest stonefly that we have in, in West Virginia. Generally, it occupies the small headwater streams. This is, the, this is probably the most sensitive organism I found this week. So that's a real good sign. And the trout streams in West Virginia, they love them. These are like uh, one of their mainstays. So it's, a, it's really nice to see that. Does it surprise you in that short a time that, that, that there's been this big of a difference? Absolutely. But I, I'm amazed and it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, people haven't seen fish in here for a long time and so it's pretty crazy. That's quite a change from 2009, the last time the DEP surveyed Three Fork, and two years before the lime dosing stations were put online. Right. Uh, basically, the last time, uh, this, I guess it was in 2009, we didn't find uh, anything. anything. Uh, we shocked this for fish and found no fish whatsoever, and we found only the most tolerant uh, benthic mac macroinvertebrates, uh, the bugs, and now we're seeing stoneflies, we're seeing some helgramites, uh, haven't seen a crayfish yet. I'm expecting to see one of those maybe in a couple of years, which would definitely be a benefit. Uh, but uh, things are looking better. It's been an amazing turnaround, actually. Um, and it's, it's been better than I even thought it would be. This year, survey crews documented more than 1,600 fish, including 21 different species, at the same four test sites as the 2009 survey. A dramatic change, to say the least. Are you surprised about the how, how big of a change it's been? Oh yes, in a short period of time, about 14 months, we went to practically a zero in fish and and uh, other wildlife to uh, uh, amazing recovery here on Three Forks Creek. We are very elated with the with the cooperation we've had with the DEP. In cooperation with them and uh, our watershed association we have formed a great partnership here and it's resulted in this great uh, recovery but that recovery has not been cheap 
the mine drainage into Three Fork Creek is high in metals and low in pH, a combination that rapidly reduces the effectiveness of passive treatment systems. The four active dosers cost just over $750,000 to construct, and operating and maintaining them averages over $18,000 a month. The project is funded through the West Virginia Acid Mine Drainage Set-Aside Account. That account is currently at $41 million, and program managers hope that in the future, as contributions from abandoned mine lands continue, the interest from that fund will make the project self-sustaining. In Preston County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters.